guys and welcome to the replay. Hey, Dina. Hi, Teresa. If anybody else is in, uh, make sure you say hello because I can't see your posts. I'll be live in just a second. Alrighty, let's go live. How are you guys? Hello. Welcome to day three of Sneak Peeks. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Angela. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Christina. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Nikki Morris. Hello, hello. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are joining me tonight. I am on day three of Sneak Peeks of the brand new... Due to launch, January 4th, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, Chalk Couture um, Spring Summer Catalog. And this bad boy, oh, it's filled with such yumminess. I can't wait to show you guys some more sneaks in the catalog after we do the project tonight. Hi, Karen. Hi, Charlene. Hello, hello. So I am, last night it went on pretty long because I did not one but two um, ink projects and it's a little hard to see, but here is it really, I should have thought a little better about the placement of the be fearless. Um, I saw my shirt. It looks great. I love it. Um, so yeah. Hi, Christy. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Sandra. Hello. As you guys are coming in bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that if you click share, um, it is, uh, a very high form of flattery when you share my video. And it gets the chalk love out there, guys. Um, whoops, I meant February 4th. It is the launch is coming February 4th, this coming Monday, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. My website is posted down in the comments and right above my head here. Um, you'll be able to go on and purchase tons of new stuff. 128 new SKUs are in the catalog, which is amazing. So, hi, Rebecca. Hi, Cal. Hi, Megan Danielle. Hi, Terry. New catalog. The new catalog uh, is actually on our websites, Carol. It's in the back, in your back office under resources. You'll be able to see it. But for customers, it will be Monday. Oh, Jamie, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm usually just a hot mess. <laughs> I'm at least entertaining. So why don't we get started on this project? I actually can't wait to make it. Um, this was actually a project that they had for us at leadership, but whenever we get stuff at leadership, I like to take it home and do my own project with it. I like to share with you guys. So I said, not doing it. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, I'll take it home and do it. So this is a leadership project. So I'm going to get the, uh, stuff ready here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to throw up for those of you who have never seen my videos, who have never heard about Chalk Couture, I'm going to put a little something up on the screen that you can read while I get the screens ready to go um, for tonight. So let's get this all ready. I'm always crooked coming in lately. Don't know why. Don't know what that's all about. Okay. We are are ready to rock and roll. So as soon as I see it come across. So guys, I would love to know where are you guys located? 
And what's your temperature right now? Um, I'm in New Jersey and I can tell you, I don't know what the exact temperature is, but I can tell you when my husband left to pick my son up from, uh, for, from basketball practice today, um, while he was waiting a matter of five minutes, the temperature dropped three degrees and it's only supposed to get worse and the wind chill is going to make it feel even worse as well. So I want to hear where you guys are and what is the temperature? Hi, Rhonda. Thank you, girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Diane. Hi, Denise. Hello. Hello. So let's talk about the new surface we're going to use tonight. This surface is our all new palette board. Um, some things that you should know about our palette boards, they are going to come in two sizes. We have the five and a half by seven and a half and the, I believe it's a nine by 12. Let me double check the size of that. I don't want to give you guys the wrong sizes. Five and a half by seven and a half. Yeah, it's nine by 12. It's not half sizes for the larger one. Um, so this one is super cool. Um, it goes, you could do vertically, you could do horizontally. You'll notice that the lines in the palettes, um, or the gaps, I should say, are much closer. So you're not going to get the clump of chalk paste like you do with some other items. Um, minus three. Yeah, Dawn Marie, we're supposed to get to minus 21 tonight, which is crazy. And tomorrow, hi, Ashley. Thanks for sharing. Minus 20, Christina, you are crazy. Hi, Jen Gentry. 24 degrees here. Carol, I'm sure that must be warm compared to some places. Jody in Michigan is minus four. Oh my God, I hope you guys are staying warm. Oh, I'm thinking of you all because we're going to get there. I'm The other thing, I, the other reason why I was asking that is because it is getting crazy cold in New Jersey. The winds are picking up bed. Um, I keep hearing my big trees like make really weird creaking noises. So I thought I want to hurry up and get my life done. because I'm scared we're going to lose internet or electricity tonight. I'm praying to God we don't. Um, but I thought, let me just jump in and get it done. Um, your internet's going in and out. That stinks, Dina. But at least you're in the warmth, right? Nine degrees, just had a snow squall, white out conditions. Wow, Karen, that's crazy. Hi, Christina Sarbello. Um, let's see. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, so we have, it's got the small um, gaps. And then you can even turn it upside down. And if you guys can see, it's got the the gaps here, and or the, the wood, raised wood pieces here and here. I actually really dig this side. This is meant to be the back with this being the front. But guess what? We're doing my project tonight on the back because I really like that look. I think it looks so cute. Oh my goodness, Joyce, it's 50 degrees. It probably feels like 150 to the poor people who are in like Michigan and Detroit. Oh my gosh. Now, what we're going to be using tonight um, is our monogram letters. We just released all 26 letters. Up, well, they will release on February the 4th at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, this uh, is the, our monogram letters. They're about, I think I measured them to be about four inches tall. Four and a half inches tall. Um, they come in all 26 letters of the alphabet. Um, they are really not like the font itself. I don't know what font it is, but I will say I really like the font. It looks fancy. Um, they are sold individual. They all are $9.99 a piece. So it is meant to be a monogram. So you obviously wouldn't buy the entire alphabet. I mean, you totally could, but you would probably just buy maybe if you're working on yourself and maybe your in-laws, um, or your, your parents rather, if you're a woman and you're married, or maybe you took your, you didn't take your maiden name or, away, or you took your married name, you know, um, Rhonda, I do not know if these are reusable. I was going to wax my surface tonight and see if I go to try and take it off. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say no. They are not advertised as a reusable surface. They are meant to be used as a one-time surface. Because I'm using black, I already know it is not going to fully come off, so I'm actually not even going to bother waxing the surface. Um, sometimes on wood, if you wax it, and depending on the pigment that you're choosing, or the paste that you're the, the pigment color of paste that you're using, some of it will come off. Hi, Samantha. How you doing, girlfriend? Hi, Nancy. Um, hello, hello. Hi, Katie Gall Galligan. Um, hello, hello. Hi, Jan. Wind is bad. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Dawn Marie. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be a reusable surface. There are advertised as a one-time use, like our box, much like our box frames. But I think you will like this. So 
Um, the other thing I'm going to use is, and you guys know I am not a flower person, but this I don't mind. This I actually really like. This is called an oval wreath. It's a size B transfer. I actually did try to measure this up and it should fit perfectly. Um, maybe a little bit of overlap um, on the back part of this. So we're going to test that out, like I said, tonight. So um, we have the oval wreath, the monogram, and the palette, uh, the palette frame board that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to also use tonight, um, we want to fuzz our transfer. And fuzzing is simply um, a term that we use when we are trying to de-stick the transfer a little bit. Because our transfers, as you read, are reusable over and over and over again. Um, so we want to fuzz it when we uh before we use it but the very first thing we're going to do is label the back of our transfer whoops i almost said oval transfer oval wreath okay and now we're going to come in and we're going to take the carrier sheet off of the transfer now i like to take my carrier sheet from the transfer that way i am not stretching or distorting it it is a material so much like clothing material it can it can uh, stretch it can shrink it can distort we don't we want to just be careful with it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run it along the fuzzing side of our brand new fuzzing towel the back side of the towel is a microfiber it's so soft to help clean our our boards our Grayson's and our our Aiden boutique boards um the this uh towel the fuzzing towel I know you may not be able to see it all in my video but it is 12 by 18 inches long I actually just have it folded in half for each so I'm going to run it over this about three times. Three times is a good amount of time to help get some of that sticky off. So I'm going to lay it down, push it down, and then I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to do it one more time. And I already can feel that some of the areas are less sticky. So we've got that going. Now, let's come in. And we're going to place the transfer down. I'm going to try to go as close to the center as possible. Holy cow, I think I did. And with one swoop, I was able to get it all down. There's no lumps in my silk screen area that I see. You want to make sure that there is no bumps in the silk screen area. Like there's bumps out here and in here. I don't care about that because I'm not putting my chalk paste there. I am putting my chalk paste here though. Okay, so I'm going to make sure there's no bumps, no places where it's not stuck down. I want to do all that. Now, I am going to utilize tonight, where is it, our brand new eucalyptus chalk paste. If you guys remember, eucalyptus was a ink. It's still a couture ink, but they moved this color over into the chalk paste color. So I'm crazy pumped about that. Um, this is a really pretty color. Um, I, I, I think it's going to look really nice with this, uh, with this oval wreath. Um, this silver foil is what they use to seal the chalk paste containers. I can never seem to open it without scissors. I may have had one or two that I was able to grab with my fingers, but for the most part, I always got to use the scissors. I just found that if you try to go as close to the edge and lift it, it pretty much comes off pretty easily. Um, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there's like a little bit left on there. We'll put that in there. I don't know what I did with my trash can. And I definitely have got to get this off because it's going to drive me bonkers if I don't. I don't like the foil getting left on it. it just gets in the way. Now, what I'm going to do, the first time you get your where are all my multi-tools the first time you open a jar of chalk paste it's going to look kind of solid okay now this is not the consistency we want to use our chalk paste the consistency we want to use we want it to be a nice yogurt like consistency so what it, what i have to do is i'm going to put the multi-tool in and i am going to mix this all around it's going to sound like listen Sounds like Rice Krispies, snap, crackle, pop. That is all the air coming out as you're mixing your chalk paste up. And as you mix, can you see the consistency changing? That is the consistency we want. Do you see that? Oh, it's gorgeous. That is the nice yogurt-like consistency that we want to have. Oh, 
think I just flung that into my hair that we want to have with our chalk piece before we use it. Okay. So every time before you start using your chalk piece, you want to make sure it's mixed up to a nice yogurt like consistency. Can I find a paper towel in this joint? Here it goes. Let's see. Okay. Hi, Michelle. Thank you, Samantha. I checked Chalk Couture has not shown Matt now or wait, start Feb. Just wondering. Thank you for typing that, uh, April for Rose. I appreciate it. Hi, Michelle Scott. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Nancy Boyd. Hello, hello. Um, I can wait until center of February. I can order more chalk transfers or others, so I paid for Archon Mount first. Got it. Got it, Rose. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to come in with our squeegee. Now, I did have a small squeegee, and I don't know, the new small squeegee. Where did it go? My cutie patootie one. I don't know what I did with it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the regular small squeegee, and I'm going to dip it into the chalk paste, and I'm going to load it up, okay? Now, a little chalk paste goes a long way. If you have too much, it's no problem, because what we're going to do is we're actually going to even take the excess off of the transfer using our squeegee so none will be wasted okay this actually is a little thick I probably could have stirred it a little more so I'm actually gonna do probably chalk and peel because of the way oh well no maybe it was just that one area it's actually not that bad and as you're noticing I'm not doing the whole transfer I'm only doing the open silk screen area spots, okay? There's no need to do it all over the transfer because it's just going to get wasted, the chalk paste. So just do the open silk screen parts, okay? Make sure none of that is showing. Make sure you've got all your excess off as I have. I'm going to wipe the excess back into my jar and I'm going to come in and I am going to do my peel and reveal. Now you want to make sure that you're grabbing from the center so that way you're giving equal pressure and you're not stretching the transfer. Take your time peeling it back. The first time you use it, it may be a little extra sticky even after fuzzing. Just take your time. Okay. Check that out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to get your transfer into a nice vat of water. Little t a little tub of water um, and make sure you clean it off and you only want to use a disinfectant wipe on it. What you'll do is you'll get all the excess off in the water and then you will uh, pull it out of the water and use just a regular old disinfectant wipe, clean off the rest of the chalk paste on the front, flip it over to the sticky side and gently go across the back of it and let it dry sticky side up. Then you'll put it back on the carrier sheet if you remember what we wrote on. And you will go from there. So now let's um, let's give this, actually let's hit this with a little bit of heat to make sure it's totally dry. Okay. This looks so good. I love this color. It's called Eucalyptus, Dina. It's the same one that we have in ink, but now we will be carrying it in chalk base February 4th. A tub of water. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm sorry, Rose. They, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't do anything on my end. I use switcher. It doesn't give that option. Um, okay. So now we're going to move on and we're going to do our monogram letter. Now you could pick whatever letter you want to do. I'm obviously going with W since it's my last name. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put a giant W on the back. So that way I know my back and front. Okay. Hi, Carol. Um, what kind of heat gun? So it's just a heat gun that I had gotten from a, a company that creates cards and stuff. Um, it's a embossing gun. So, um, Michelle, if you want or anybody that wants to know where I got it from, just message me and I'll send you the link. Um, that's all you have to do. There you go, Dina. It's great, right? Okay, so all I'm doing is going to fuzz it up. Like I said, about three times I like to put it down. I also like to make sure 
that I'm really taking the stick off, especially when I already have something down. Typically what I would do in a wood situation, I would normally wax over this layer to make sure that I don't pick it up from my transfer going down, but I'm going to take the chance that it's going to be okay. Um, and just go with it. Oopsie. I got to move it over a little and down over and down kind of a little far down for what I wanted, but maybe I can lift it up a little bit. I think it's just because my letter is a little, little big. Okay, so I'm going to take the, I'm only going to push around the area where there's the silk screen. I'm not going to really push around this area where it's got, it's got a design underneath, right? Thank you for sharing, Donna. And Dawn Marie, thank you so much for helping. I truly appreciate it. I obviously can't stop to type. Okay, so now another thing that is coming also on Monday, we have also gotten our own sticks. I used to use little makeup sticks, but I don't need to do that anymore. Um... New from Arkansas. Hello, Donna Keller. I appreciate you watching. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is actually our eight ounce tub of black chalk paste. Um, because I use white and black so much, I usually go with the bigger. But then I realized that my hands will always get a little goopy. So I stick with the three ounce. Now. <laughs> Just works out better for me. So now I'm going to take another small squeegee and I'm going to dip it in, load up my black chalk paste. And I'm going to pull it over to my color, and I'm just going to go across the silk screen area. Oh, yeah. This color is perfect. Look how easy it pulls. I love when the color pulls nice and easy. That's when you know you have it mixed up really well. And I put way too much on here, so we need to take some off this. Put it back into our jar. Don't ever waste your chalk paste. You can save it for another project. Especially, like I said, a little goes a long way. You might only need a very little bit to complete a project. Okay. So now I'm going to grab it from the corner, but pull from the middle. And I'm going to gently pull it back so that way I don't lift up the paste on the opposite side. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. Look how pretty it turned out. I love it. It looks so fancy. Doesn't it? Look at that. All right, let's get the lid back onto my black chalk paste here. Okay. Got my squeegees and all my stuff I need to clean up there. Get the chalk paste closed. That's important. Oh, Donna, you're so sweet. Thank you for watching. You would, would like information, Marie Martin? I'm happy to get you some information about joining my team or purchasing. Let me know. Uh-oh. Did we freeze? Oh, no. We didn't freeze. I did something. Hi, Donna. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Tamantha. All right. Let's heat this up so that we it's dry. Now, if you wanted to put this, say, outside, because like I said... The chalk paste does come off with water. When it is a deeper, darker pigment, it will stain. So you don't want to leave this out in the like the the elements because it will wash off, but it'll be stained to still be left there. If you want to place it outside, you can seal it with a Krylon sealing spray and it will stay on. What, Donna? That is crazy town. Oh, Christina, yay! Yes, the W is great, isn't it? It looks so fancy. Fancy. Look at that. And like I said, the board is actually meant to go horizontal or vertical this way. I chose to do the backside. I think it looks really cute. And what I may even do, I may even wrap some nice buffalo check thinner ribbon around the top here and around the bottom down here. I think that might look crazy cute too, but I don't think I have any like 
thin ribbon. Um, thank you, Betty. Thanks, Joyce. Thank you for sharing, Don. I appreciate it. So that is the project. It's super awesome. Um, I love, I'm loving all of the new stuff that's coming out. I really wish they would have let us get our hands on that handwritten font. Guys, I just cannot wait to tell you how excited I am about that. I think that is my favorite transfer yet that is coming out. Favorite yet. Okay. Um, thank you, Christy. I appreciate it. So that is going to be that. So let's come on back to where I am just full screen now. Let me give up some little, let's do a little chatting. So here is our finished project. What I'll likely do um, is maybe use my brand new staple gun and staple ribbon around here to tie it. And that way I can hang it. Or I just might put it on like one of the little um, frame holders um, downstairs in my living room, my entryway. Um, because I don't want to put command, normally I would do command strips, but I don't want to do that on the back because I can still use this side for something. And I will. Don't think I won't. <laughs> Donnie, you are so cute. Black and white buffalo plaid ribbon would be awesome. Wouldn't it though, Betty? I think. Thank you, Patty. Go broke on February 4th. Donnie, you're so funny. Um, yeah, so I think that's, I think this is such a cute project. This is actually a, I think this will make for a super fun sip and chalk project. Um, people can come and make their own monogram uh, letter. This uh, board was $19.99. The, the wreath was $14.99. The um, letter was $9.99. Um, and the chalk paste was $12.99. So, the, but remember the chalk paste a little goes a long way. You'll have the colors for forever. Um, on the large boards, it would be cute to add handles. Agreed. Agreed to make it like to sit on your stovetop. You could totally add the little handles here. Um, I forgot that I don't have the videos down there. You could totally add the little handles there. I was considering it, but I was like, not on the first one because I knew I wanted to do this. So, um, hi, Tony. Hi, Shelly. Hello. Hello. Thanks for joining. So let's talk about this guys. So if you, um, if you are brand new to watching me and you are just discovering Chalk Couture or you saw it online, you've been popping around and you maybe need to say, oh, I need to find a designer to buy from. I would love to be your designer. I would love to be your designer. So um, I would also love to invite you to my VIP group. Please no designers. If you're already a designer, please don't request to join. Um, but I would love to have you join my VIP group. In my VIP group, I have specials. I have bundle deals. I have my Chalkbox subscription. And I have over 400 Chalk Couture project videos in there. So you will always have something that you can go back and utilize for inspiration. Um all you need to do if you'd like to go into my VIP group is comment me right down below. Um, once you comment me, I will message you a link to the VIP group and you can go ahead and join. Oh, thank you, Donna. You're so sweet. Donna Keller Johnson, I will message you the second this is done. Um, and thank you, Donna Bog. Thank you, Love Bug. I don't know how to say your last name, so I'm going to call you Love Bug. Um, thank you for saying that. You're so sweet. Now, if while you were watching and maybe you have been watching for a good long time, um, uh, Rose, I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're asking. I, I can't understand that. Um, oh, Carol, you are so sweet. Thank you. Um, if while you were watching and you said, you know, I, I've been watching these people do chalk tour and I really think, A, I would love to earn more income to help out with my family. I would like to help pay for ballet lessons and hockey practice and karate lessons, food shopping, car payments, um, college tuition, you would like to start a business with this. I will tell you, I think it would be a great idea to do it. Um, if you are interested in offering sip and chalk classes, like I just said, this would be a great example to do a sip and chalk um, with maybe some ladies in your neighborhood, some friends and family. Um, if you would want, if you're looking to build a team and really take off with this, Know that you can build a team all over the United States, okay? Um, you might want to join my team. Uh, if you want to comment, join down below. I have an opportunity group where once a month I go in and I do a live video and it stays there the whole month and it tells you everything you need to know about joining not just my team, but Chalk Couture. Um, if you're interested in maybe joining, uh, if you're if you are interested in maybe joining my team, but you want to hear that little that bit of information, 
I would encourage you to comment, join down below. So I will message you the link to that opportunity group so you can go in and listen. I'll tag you in the video and everything. Now, if you really are interested or you're like, you know what? I think I might be interested, but heck, I'd like to know what comes in the new designer kit. Well, let me share this with you. That is the new designer kit. Um, it is a fantastic kit. It's got our awesome 9 by 12 Aiden porcelain steel magnetic designer board, our 10-inch circle round boutique board, and it will come with eight transfers, five chalk paste, thank you cards, an apron, a small squeegee, and the catalog. Okay, all of that for only $99. You will love it. And I would love to have you on my team. So that is it for me tonight, guys. I will be back again tomorrow with another sneak peek of another project coming live from our catalog launch on Monday, February the 4th, 2019 at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I thank you for checking in with me tonight and watching my live. I have no idea why it looks like it's getting super dark in here. I think maybe my iPad has finally had it. Um, oh, you are so cute, Donna. Thank you so much. Um, Carol, I appreciate you saying that. I will be your designer. I love that. Thank you so much. So I hope you guys join me again tomorrow night and same with Friday and Saturday and Sunday before our huge launch um, this Monday. So take care. If you guys are in the cold, anywhere near the cold, you know, please make sure you bring your animals in. Make sure if you see anybody out on the streets, maybe call and see if you can get some help for them to make sure they can make it into a nice warm place. Um, be kind to your neighbor if you are out and about tomorrow um, and you see workers that have no choice but to work outside, like my husband and his people, which I will um, definitely be heeding my own advice here. Um, get, bring them a cup of coffee. It costs a dollar. Um, I'll be finding them tomorrow and loading them up with nice coffee and hot chocolate to make sure they all stay warm. Um, have a good night. Be safe. Stay warm. And I will see you all later. Bye.